All right, this is fifth grade Excel lesson 13, completing number patterns in a chart, recognizing ordinal number words up to 100. And that might sound complicated, but both of these should be pretty easy for you. Uh, this should all be review. So for each of these charts, what is each row counting by and what is the missing number? Hours spent babysitting. If you spend three hours babysitting, you earn $15. Four hours babysitting, you earn $20. Five hours babysitting, $25. Notice the numbers go with these labels on the end. Seven hours babysitting, $35. Think about what are these numbers counting by, and put that number right here. And then what are these numbers counting by, and put that number right here, and fill in the missing number. Pause the video, turn it back on when you're ready for the solution. Okay, the top numbers here are counting by 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The bottom numbers are counting by 5 or $5. Either answer is, is a good answer. And so the missing number, 15, 20, 25, 30. This is $30. Pretty simple. Let's keep going. Go ahead and uh, pause the video. Try this one here. Remember, fill in what it's counting by and the missing number. Okay, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's counting by 1, 12, 18, 24, blank 36 is counting by 6, the missing number would be 30. Ah, let's keep going. Ordinal numbers. Ordinal, ordinal numbers are numbers that are used to indicate where an item is located in relation to others in the same set. So these are numbers like 1st, 2nd, 3rd, Sometimes they're written out, fourth, you might be in the fourth grade or the fifth grade if you're watching this video, and these are all called ordinal numbers. It's what order things happen in. Philippe was waiting in line at the movie theater. He counted the number of people ahead of him in the line. He was the 53rd person in line. How many people were ahead of him? If he's the 53rd person, then that means there are 52, don't forget your label on all word problems, people, P-E-O-P-L-E, -E, people ahead of him. All right, you pause the video and try number four. Turn it back on when you're ready for the solution. In Terry's graduating class, she was 87th student to get her diploma. How many students received their diplomas before Terry did? If she was the 87th, then that means 86 people received or students. Students would probably be a better label. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching.